application of composites to architecture and the format vacuum forming machines we have on campus have been integral to our workflow. We have two machines and this is one of the two. This is our, our Formax Compact Mini. And the way that this ties into the composites processes, we will use a CNC machine to mill a, a mold and we need to lay up carbon fiber on that mold. And vacuum forming on this mold allows us to have a barrier between our resin and the mold and then we can lay up our layers of carbon fiber. And carbon fiber comes as a, as a cloth and as a fabric. Some of our other projects where vacuum forming has been integral is we built a, a full-scale pavilion, and this is a scale model of the pavilion called the Fiber Wave Pavilion. And what you see here is a scale model, and this is all out of polystyrene plastic. So we would make, uh, again, a mold out of on a CNC machine, and we would vacuum form that mold to create one of 96 repetitive units that make the pavilion. And then when we moved to full scale, we created a full scale mold and we used the 686 format vacuum former to vacuum form onto this mold and create a barrier for our carbon fiber. So that's one of six molds that we made to create 96 of these carbon fiber panels. We're using vacuum forming in the same process we were with the pavilion. We're creating our molds, we're vacuum forming to those molds, and then we're able to lay up carbon fiber. Until we start working with glass and can create these complex forms out of glass, we're using clear PETG, so again, making molds and vacuum forming to those molds to serve as the windows for this curtain wall. Another component of my research is looking at how we can build full-scale structures out of plastic. What we're doing is starting at a small scale. The students are learning fabrication techniques. They're learning how to use a CNC, how to model complex geometry. But then it's really about can we build something physically and what happens? Does it stand up? What does the space look like? So vacuum forming is really, in my mind, the only way to achieve these full-scale structures. These models have been, these components, these individual components have been vacuum formed on the Formac Mini. And what we'd like to do is start going up in scale to full-scale projects using some of the larger machines. So we're here at IIT's Idea Shop, and the Idea Shop is used by the entire university and it's a place for people from all different departments to come together, collaborate, iterate, and fabricate. And the Format 686 is an integral part of this collaboration. This larger machine allows us to fabricate the larger components of our carbon skin model.